I'm Anita Walden, and my husband dragged me in here. <laughs> We're me and Anita Walden. We're uh, here at the Smile Clinic uh, to get new smiles. Um, my wife, who is a childhood abuse survivor, she's got multiple missing teeth and has needed this for a while. And myself, I've got a full upper denture and just a few of my bottom teeth left. I had actually heard of this, of the Smile Clinic years ago. It was just out of my reach at the time. And so I already kind of knew about them and then they developed the three on six technology since that time and uh, just everything about what they do and the materials they use. Uh, the current state of my teeth is, there are few. <laughs> I've just, I've just never felt like this was within reach. Like I could get this done and be okay with it. But like I said, you know, he kind of dragged us in here and said, we're gonna do this, we can do this and we're gonna do it together. You know, I'd like to have my smile back. You know, that's something that's been missing for a while. For me, it's always at the forefront of my mind. Can they see my missing teeth? And so I don't smile as much as a normal person, I guess, would. Where, how I got to this situation with my teeth, um, I have about 25 years in as an IT uh, analyst and a desk job is not very conducive to your health. And so I was on opiates for, for back pain for a number of years and uh, <clears throat> uh, met, you know, medications as strong as fentanyl and methadone. And these are the kinds of medications that once you're addicted, can cause tooth loss, and this is the, the reason why um, that, that I lost my teeth about a decade ago, is they just started falling apart. So this uh, the implant solution wasn't um, something I could afford at the time, but I kind of wish I did, because now I'm looking at severe bone loss because of the denture and, and not having any implants, and they're gonna take care of that for us here at the Smile Clinic, so. The Smile Clinic had the best possible solution out there based on the research I do. I'm a computer network systems analyst and engineer, and so I, I dug into the details and the nitty gritty of what they do here, and I can tell you it's uh, the best option out there. Well, the fact that they try to use your own gum line and you know just all the technology involved, the fact that it's in three pieces instead of one, they're gonna act and feel more like your real teeth, uh, I think, than and you'll be less less aware that they're fake. Okay, so we came in for scans today to get all of the images of, in my, of my teeth and my mouth. I was a little nervous. I'm usually anxious when I come to the dentist, um, but today was pretty good. I, I love the atmosphere here. Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, everyone's really nice and helpful and friendly and uh, that non-judgmental kind of way, you know, which, kind of put me at ease, so that was great. I guess the next step is, for me, because I have diabetes, um, they want me to bring my A1C levels down. I'm pretty sure that I can do that. I've done it before, you know, as far as bringing my diabetes under control, so I feel like I can do that, you know. They want me as healthy as possible, which sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. We're here with Lee. Um, Lee's been in a pretty awful denture for the last little bit. Uh, it didn't fit him. He didn't like the way it looked. Bite was really off. Uh, he wanted something permanent. So we're getting going on his surgery, getting him uh, as many implants as we can get up here. And uh, when he wakes up today, he's gonna have a fresh new set of teeth. It's gonna look awesome. We're here for my husband's surgery. It's his surgery day and he's been in for about a couple of hours and he was feeling hungry. <laughs> so, but uh, a little apprehensive, you know, just cause they talked about how long the surgery was gonna be. Um, so yeah, just both a little anxious about that, but I think we're okay now. I think so far so good. Just waiting to hear how everything goes and see how it is at the end of his surgery. We've got Lee here. We're just uh, getting through surgery. He's doing really well, and he's gonna go home tonight, 
get some good sleep and we'll see him in about a week for a post-op and to see how he's doing and take a good look at his teeth. Tuesday, uh, July 25th, and my surgery was back in April. I'm excited to get my new teeth here. The, the, the temporaries have been holding out well, and the whole process has been as you would expect, I guess. Uh, the, the, you know, there was the obvious discomfort after the surgery, but you know, it was over pretty quick. And then uh, just, uh, I think the biggest challenge is just making sure I don't bite down too hard to break these temporaries. But <laughs> other than that, yeah, been healing good and and uh, looking forward to my follow-up next week where they take the measurements for the permanents. So with the temporaries, you have to eat the really soft food. Things that I thought were soft, it's kind of interesting, you know, like salads, not a good idea. <laughs> Tortillas, not a good idea. Um, I think the, the, my staple food since the surgery has just been hamburgers. They're easy to chew. Before the surgery, I didn't, I just had an, uh, full upper dentures and so being able to feel the roof of my mouth is a, kind of a new, you know, kind of awesome. It changed the way food, food tastes as well, so that's a good thing. But today is my wife's turn. Uh, she's in surgery now, and uh, we just had to get her A1C down to an acceptable level. And, but uh, I'm really excited for her as well. So it's the uh, 25th of July. We're here with Anita. And uh, we've been working with her for a little bit now to get her prepped and ready for surgery. Today's finally the day. Uh, she's looking awesome. We're well underway with the surgery and uh, we're just about to start getting going with the uh, implants. So uh, she's doing awesome and we can't wait to see what her smile looks like. Okay, so it's, uh, it's about 1240. We're about four hours into the surgery. Uh, we have all 12 implants in. Uh, she's progressing super awesome. This is the, the scan we took of the upper, and uh, you can see these little white things. This is where the implants are, and we've left a couple teeth in there just for this scan. That helps our lab kind of mesh what our plan was with where, uh, where we have placed the implants. So currently the lab is now working on blending those files together and making her uh, a set of temps that's specifically made to where her implants are. So everything that we do here is completely custom and done at the moment of surgery. Um, a lot of planning beforehand, but, uh, but then really tailored the day of surgery to where and how the surgery has gone that, thus far. So. Uh, the lab's currently working on, we're actually printing her upper temporaries right now. Those are at the 3D printer. And then they're currently working on designing her lower. So right now we've got her looking great and uh, we're just waiting on those prints to come out. We'll put them in. We're gonna put in some, some sutures, some stitches to hold the gums together. And then uh, she'll be good to go. Uh, right here. Wake up. She did great. Yeah? Yeah, she did really good. Surgery went awesome. All the implants super <laughs> solid. Couldn't have asked for a better one. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Very smooth, so. So we just finished up with Anita. She did really, really well. Her surgery, we started about 8.45 and we started waking her up around 2.45, 3. Um, so it went really, really well, and uh, all the implants went in really good and strong. At this point now, it's kind of up to her of how well these heal. Um, biggest thing with her, we want to make sure she's on a very strict soft food diet, that she's not clenching and grinding her teeth at nighttime, because sometimes that can happen and can lead to implant failure. So um, for her, we, she already knows that she probably does that at nighttime, so we're gonna have her in a mouth guard during the healing time. Um, normally we, we get one for when we deliver the porcelain, um, once everything is healed. Um, but for some people that do clench and grind a little bit more, we do that during healing time. 
um, and then it's just cleaning it super well. So she's she knows she's uh, responsible to clean it really, really well, and uh, her husband's going through the same thing, so they can kind of go through this together, which is unique. Um, and you know, if, if they're doing that, then this is going to heal up, and she's going to have some awesome results. So we'll get some uh, we'll get some video and picture once that happens, and and show you guys how her smile is looking. But so far, it's looking awesome. Is the three month period, is that for adjustment and to see if anything fails? Or? That's for your healing time, yeah, before okay. we get going on anything else. Now, yours will probably err on the side of four months, so we generally okay. use three to four months. You will feel a little bit slower probably than most, and so we'll try to achieve closer to that four month mark. Okay. So we just finished with Anita's post op. Um, kind of an interesting situation with them. This is the first time I've done a husband and a wife. Um, Lee is already uh, progressing. He's almost ready to get his finals going and Eva's just starting. So she's got a good support system. He knows what she's going through, which is cool. Um, this is the x-ray from the surgery. You can see our implants all wind up looking nice. Um, these are positioned to perfectly separate and give her the three bridges on the six implants. Right now they're all one piece. Um, that's uh, kind of like a cast while it's healing. That's going to uh, kind of stabilize the implants until we're ready to put the load on them uh, when we turn them into bridges. But she's looking amazing. Her, uh, we adjusted her bite a little bit to get that feeling a little bit more comfortable for her. It wasn't much, but uh, we got her feeling good. And then um, kind of see her in the next couple weeks just to finalize that bite. And then uh, we'll be good to go for three to four months when she's ready to uh, start working on her porcelain bridges. So. She's progressing nicely, and uh, surgery went awesome. She looks great. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> July 26th, and, uh, and for the day after Anita's appointment, I'm about four months into mine. Uh, next week will be the four-month mark, and and then uh, that's when they take a scan and replace these temporaries with the real deal. Um, Woohoo! And same same with her. So she had uh, the A1C issue. We had to bring it down. She's a superwoman. She got her A1C down from an 11 to a nine just for this. Um, and we're going to keep it down because that was a problem. That was a, a process. And uh, yeah, I'm proud of her. I'm super excited to see her smile again. I'm having a hard time. Let's spoil it right now. Okay, so I just had my surgery yesterday, so it's a little painful to talk, but everything went fine. Today I got my adjustment, and um, you'll see me next week. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. You got me in? Is it Anita? Yeah. He's filming. Okay. I'm so excited. Yes. Where am I going? Three. Three? Okay. We're doing good. Hey, I got a quick question. No, we don't be both. <laughs> do you do you think we could um, snag a a group shot? Yes, definitely. Awesome. Yay. Yeah. Yay. After everything, come on. Yes. You gotta have it. Awesome. I'm excited. Alrighty. Well, same as always, we're, you know, the drill here, no pun intended. We're gonna get these off, clean you up, and then uh, get the good stuff on. Open a little wider. So I'm not good. Anita has finally been through the healing process. This are her second set of temporaries, and we are now going to take them off. We're going to clean everything up one last time with everything off, and then we are going to seat her uh, her final zirconia bridges and uh, adjust those. We're going to spend a good amount of time getting her bite dialed in, making sure everything feels nice and tight, and uh, and then we'll be giving her the final reveal, which is going to be awesome. They're going to look super good. How have these ones been? Good. Been enjoying them. Good. 
so this is the the type of gingival scalloping is what we call it so basically trying to recreate the architecture of the natural gum tissue when we had teeth there very difficult to do um, and something very unique to three on six or their uh, fixed prosthetic one an fp1 um, but getting this type of gum tissue around the implants both helps the implants last longer and looks as natural as possible. So unlike some of the other uh, prosthetics where we just try and create more of a flat plane to get up underneath, um, these we create this nice, nice looking gum tissue that mimics what our teeth had before we took them out. Looks really good. She did a great job cleaning, which is really what allows us to get this nice firm, good looking good looking tissue open up a little bit there for me Anita you can kind of see underneath just how nice that all looks her lower actually looks really really good as well so now this is gonna be a perfectly easy area for her to clean with the finals as well look how nice that fits up into it So with these, uh, with the three on six, we uh, we're only doing now what we call screw retained prosthetics. What this means is, and it's really important to have the implants in the perfect position for this, but it means we don't have to use any cement. So one of the leading causes of implant failure is cement getting around the implant or a little too close to the implant. This way we use no cement. Um, and so we don't run that risk. Um, the bridges are all designed perfectly to screw in just like you're seeing now and you can't see those holes where we screwed those in. We will fill those in on the back for her. But uh, yeah, this allows also easy repairs if we ever need to, which we shouldn't have to. But, I do. but we can if we need to. Right down there. Don't do that hard nothing. Looks pretty dang good. How's that feeling? I feel like one side's hitting more than the other. One side a little. <laughs> this burger place across the street is really good. I was gonna mm -hmm. stop there for lunch. Alright. I'm gonna cry. Don't, don't let it cry. Everyone said those seeds go that. But don't like that news. Love you. <laughs> They're awesome. Oh my gosh. They're really pretty. They are so pretty. I love the color too. I love the color. Me too. <laughs> I'm like, if, I, if I'm if i presenting that much for them, you know? <laughs> They're gonna be Hollywood bike. <laughs> They're awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so uh, but yeah, it is gross. Yeah, I can hear it first. Not okay, yeah. That feel more even? Yeah. Okay, let me check this here. Okay, bite and just hold your teeth together nice and tight. Good, open. Bite and hold your teeth together tight. Open. That feels pretty dang great. That's awesome. I feel good? Yeah. Yeah, it's feeling, when we're putting that in there, that's feeling nice and tight. Okay, what I want you to do, uh -huh. bite down. Now, I want you to slide your teeth towards our, this right side. Slide them all the way over if you can. All right, let's go. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> all right, let's get you a little rinse out here. We got some powder in. The kids, right? Great. Okay. Finito. Do you want to grab some retractors? 
us to be fun. Yeah, just fold all over. That's a perfect one. You're all stuffy. Okay. Awesome. I'll get it. Oh, no. We'll be back. Yeah. We got our cleanings to take care of and everything, right? Yeah. 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 So, thank you. That is really good. <laughs> I'm happy. Thank you. Yeah. You guys are so welcome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Really good. Yeah, it was time. And, uh, it's always, it took us a while to decide to do it because of the shame, you know, you can't, you don't want to smile, you kind of lose your face, soul features, I had a, I looked very different before the surgery, I guess, and uh, yes. it was kind of a coming together of, of, of all the right pieces of the puzzle to make it happen, I guess, so I got started in, uh, March, so almost a year ago. I like that you, you went first anyway. Even yeah. though you want, he wanted me to go first, I'm kind of glad he went first because then I was able to see what he was going through and yeah. what I would be going through. And so when I went through my surgery, I would ask him questions. Am I supposed to feel this way? Is this normal? <laughs> you know? So that felt, that actually worked in our favor, I think, for me yeah. anyway. So I didn't have too much anxiety about stuff. Everybody's been great here. The staff has been amazing. Yeah. And so helpful and an with answering questions that we've had. And um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's taken a bit longer than we thought, but I appreciate the fact that, you know, Dr. Locke was looking after my health because of my diabetes. We wanted to make sure that, you know, the implants didn't yeah. fail. And so we um, both had a four month healing period, mine yeah. because of the bone loss and yours because of the diabetes. Yeah, exactly. And so. so I think the results are amazing. And, you know, I have my smile back. So that's awesome. I love it. And we're just happy that, you know, we were able to work with Smile Clinic and everybody here. And yeah, yeah it's just been an amazing journey for both of us. And the fact that we got to do it together has been um, just awesome. <laughs> you know, I, I can use my whole mouth to chew now, whereas before, because I had missing teeth, I used to have to chew on one side as opposed to the other. It's life-changing, so I'm really happy with the results. I'm looking forward to eating a nice juicy steak, and I haven't been able to eat popcorn, so yeah, that's gonna be awesome. I wouldn't recommend any other kind of technology than this. Yes. Yeah. And speaking from experience, it's better than the alternative yeah. by far. I would definitely recommend the three on six to anybody who's looking to uh, handle tooth replacement of any kind. You know, especially if you're, you know, if you've got a lot of work that needs to be done. It's all done at once, as opposed to uh, doing it little by little over time. And I'm just going to agree it. with what he just said. <laughs> He's just spot on. So there you go. And I think the smile says it all. Thank you.